Well, it was on January 17, 2003, a day that I will not soon forget, that they sat in a hearing that I was chairing of the City Council's Transportation Committee. And, you know, I did have to ask the question 10 times, 10 different ways, but on the 10th try, um, I couldn't believe it. The head of the MTA actually fessed up to the, the, the fact that they were carrying two sets of books. One set of financial statements, just uh, showing this $3.2 billion operating deficit, thus necessitating the fare increase. Another set of books showing a deficit, yes, but far, far smaller. And that set of books, of course, was being used to justify their bond ratings. And so that was, that was my favorite point in, in, in the city council so far, really, I gotta say, because that was like my Tom Cruise moment. <laughs> you saw a few good men. You know, he had the general up on the stand, just like I had the head of the MTA sitting there. I said, did you order that code red? No, yeah. <laughs> did you order the code red? No, you can't handle the truth. Did you order the code red? You got that bad idea. You know, I, I didn't mean to use that profanity. <laughs> so, uh, I couldn't believe it. But uh, they, they fessed up to it. And, and then, of course, the city and state controllers came up with their, their report six months later, confirming that, in fact, the MTA did have two sets of books. And since 